Hello and welcome to Indus News. I'm Fiza Jamal coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of the hour. Pakistan has said it will continue efforts to bring peace and stability in Afghanistan and the region. Meeting U.S. Special Envoy Zalmay Khalil Zad, Army Chief General Kamar Javed Bajwa said, peace in Afghanistan is important for Pakistan. Meanwhile, Taliban has said withdrawal of foreign troops was the focal point of two-day peace talks in UAE. Spokesman Zabiullah Mujahid demanded an immediate halt to indiscriminate bombing of civilians in Afghanistan. U.S. Special Envoy Zalmay Khalil Zad has said the talks in Abu Dhabi were productive. Moving on, the Saudi-led coalition fighting in Yemen has destroyed a rebel drone in an airstrike on Sana'a airport. Earlier, Yemen's warring parties exchanged lists of 16,000 detainees to be released under a December 11th deal. Next, UN World Food Programme will cut assistance to Palestinians due to a severe funding shortfall. 190,000 people will be affected by the cut which takes effect in January. ISIS terrorists have executed nearly 700 prisoners in eastern Syria over the last two months. Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said ISIS holds over 1,300 prisoners near the Iraqi border. To India, where students at Aligarh Muslim University have staged a protest against killings in occupied Kashmir. Detained Kashmiri leader Yasin Malik has been moved to a secret location by Indian occupation forces. Tensions persisted in occupied Kashmir following the martyrdom of seven civilians. These are all the top stories for now. Thank you for watching Indus News.